five things you'd never observed. First off, the value K. A man walks into a bank, right? Who, in this case, we'll name him John. John proceeds up to the counter and tells the bank teller, teller number two, I want to invest $1 million at a 10% return, which after she follows up with the response, that will be an interest rate of 100K return yearly. At first, there's nothing noticeable about this scenario, but hold up, look closer. Beside the $100, it's not three zeros, instead it's the variable K, which serves as the replacement value. So the question is, how is a K used to replace three zeros, especially since one is a variable and the other coefficient? Well, there's a pretty understandable logic for this. You see, K in English is just what it is, a letter K. However, it derives from the Greek word kilo, where, as in English, is translated to the word thousand. Therefore, K is considered the abbreviation for a thousand, meaning 100K is the same as 100,000. This applies to other words in general as well, such as kilogram, which in its name means a thousand grams, kilometer, a thousand meters. Moving on, we have Google. Ask yourself this, when I go to Google's homepage, what do I go there for? I'm guessing 99% of y'all said Google search, but have you ever paid attention to the I'm feeling lucky button? This button was introduced in 2001 and it sits to the right side of Google search, yet your brain ignores it. This button takes you directly to web pages, bypassing all web search ads. Plus, this button costs Google millions of dollars each year, which is why they downplayed it. Pro tip, Clicking it without typing something will redirect you to Google Doodles, a place containing history surrounding the world and its image. So next time, take the time out to notice this. Also, I have a video on it. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, it's not always perfect, which explains why sometimes it redirects you to incorrect websites, mainly due to the fact it mostly suggests the top results. Next up, I don't know about you, but I love food. I'm a big back, especially for bread. Yes, bread. And guess what? Mine has to be fresh to go along with my peanut butter jelly sandwich. How do I know this? You see those loaf tags? They don't just hold the bag together. Those tags come in different colors, and each color is matched to its following baked day, as seen above. So if you wanna know when a bread was baked, just look at the tag. While doing some research, I found out that all bread tags are usually manufactured by one company. Quick Lock Corporation, a company founded by Floyd Paxton in 1946, meaning they make hella bread. Get it? Hella bread? When it's all said and done, most items we use on a daily basis are shipped to us. Yet, I'm not talking about packages, but instead a logo. Not just any logo, FedEx logo. FedEx specializes in shipping around e-commerce, basically online shopping mostly. Just pause the video, look at this logo inspect the E and the X and tell me what is there, but perfectly disguised in plain sight. If you said an arrow, you're correct. Looking at the enclosed area where the E and X meet, you'll see an outline of an arrow. This symbolizes FedEx speed and precision. I gotta say, respect to Grad Linden Leader, the designer. That's creative. Just like 100K, we have $100 USD. A normal looking dollar. Trying to copy this money won't work. Why? The Urian constellation. Let me explain. From the start of money creation, countries have been fighting counterfeit money production. Therefore, they implemented a feature called the Urian constellation. This feature consists of five circles. These circles prevent the reproduction of secured documents like banknotes and checks by communicating with the printer, telling it something is being copied illegally. If you still attempt, either your printer is going to get flagged by the feds, you won't see the money being printed, but instead a blank page or link. So is there any you did notice? Comment below.